arms. We're here for the setup of the NAS Customer Appreciation Day. Whole bunch of vendors here, lots of people are gonna be showing up, free food, lots of specials. Let's go check it out. Uh, this is our Customer Appreciation Day. We're just thanking everybody for you know supporting us through the past six months and we thought what a better way to do it in the spring when it's been a long winter, kicking it off right. We thought let's have a big sale and just thank everybody for coming out. So that's what we're doing. We've got a lot of vendors here. Who's all here? We got Peter from Sig Sauer, we got Tony from Big Rock, we got Ian from Odell Engineering, uh, we've got Scotty Snow from Black Bear Gears here, I'm trying to think, we got CCFRs here, uh, we got Chris from Gong Show Steel, Dave from Grand Powers here as well. You guys, coat of arms, that's it for now. Awesome. Uh, so this is completely open to customers. Yeah. I see we got some Black Rifle coffee kicking around, some snacks out there. Uh, any sales or anything that you guys are we doing got, to uh, yeah. pump pump up the Niagara region uh, as it comes to you know selling guns and ammo? Yeah, we're getting 15% off the entire store today. So, I mean, anything's regular price items, 15% off, right? Some things aren't, but I mean, like, most things are 15% off today, right? We've got ammo, bulk ammo, 1,000 rounds for 230 bucks from X Metal Targets. Um, we've got 50% off our Woody's targets. We're talking about, we're giving back to communities a little bit. We've got the barbecue outside. It's just donation only, and all the money's being donated to the uh, Autism Ontario Niagara chapter. So. Uh, anything that uh, we can expect to see coming from uh, NAS in the next couple months as oh, the shooting got, season ramps up? Yeah, well, we'll have a few things up our sleeve. Actually, we're going to have a charity shoot uh, next month for Autism Ontario at the DeCue Gun Club. Uh, be more details to follow on that. We'll have a couple of new product announcements launching and stuff like that very shortly. So uh, we're keeping that all under wraps right now. We'll we'll do a big announcement soon though. Gonna keep having those draws. You love those draws, eh? The I, I love this the popcorn. Place smells like popcorn half the time. I, I haven't won yet though, so I'm a little a little uh, bummed. What are you gonna do? <laughs> well, thanks for having us out. We're gonna chat with some of the uh, yeah, vendors sure. and some of your uh, customers here and uh, check Appreciate out that. NAS Guns and Ammo. Customer Appreciation Day, and I run into this guy with a Duria MK12. How could I miss him? <laughs> Ian Mahler from Odell Engineering. How's the event going, brother? That's awesome. I, I can't believe how many people have shown up. It's, uh, it's tremendous to see this amount of people from the gun community all gathering around, talking about the same thing, C71, what we can do to prevent this. So that's the biggest conversation right now. And obviously we're having fun have it with a barbecue and guys are buying stuff and, and you know, just showing their support for the for their local gun stores, the independent gun stores. Those are the ones that make the difference in the community. Those are the guys that are putting on these events, uh, giving away free hamburgers, hot dogs, helping out with the kids, free popcorn for the kids. Like I. You know what, I don't know anybody else that has put up an event like this, more family friendly for the uh, gun owning parents. And you know, Ian, that's a great point you bring up about C71. A lot of like-minded individuals out here, family event, these are a bunch of family guys here, right? And we're talking about guys that own guns. And, yeah. uh, you know, another perfect example, the gun you're holding here, I mean, this looks a little bit scary. I mean, to the, anybody who doesn't know guns, but you're posting pictures, a uh, turkey hunting gun here, right? Like lots yeah, of this is, uh, this is the MK12. It's, it's probably right now the most popular uh, new uh, turkey hunting gun. Um, this is the Spitfire edition, but obviously it comes in camo and tan and green. Uh, it is the most uh, popular and the best selling uh, mag fed uh, semi auto. Uh, non-restricted shotgun on the market right now is the Duria MK12 um, through Odell Engineering available here at NAS Guns and Ammo in Niagara Falls, Ontario. Whatever you're looking for, they can get you. They can get you hooked up with anything from Odell Engineering. They've got access to. I think we've got sales on shotguns. I think. I, I think everything's 15% off today. So. Well, that's amazing. And you know another thing too. We've got a lot of the uh, Duria products. Um, also the Radical Arms uh, AR. You got me one. We're going to be yeah. doing. A, a, we got a really cool video coming up. I'm going to try to get this guy out to the range with us for this one. Oh yeah. Uh, he doesn't even know about it, but you guys got to keep your eye open for that one. And not just just the Daria products. We also got the Canuck product, which is incredible as well. Um, you also got us the long version. Uh, what, what was the name of the longer version? It's kind of more like a three gun. The uh, Canuck Sentry. Uh, so this is a new one on the market right now. I know you guys have a sample product, so uh, we'll be looking to uh, we'll be looking to get that reviewed along with the uh, new Radical AR that uh, we have just brought into Canada. It's really nice price point, seven ninety nine introductory price point for uh, M Lock railed, uh, sixteen inch chrome line barrel uh, with MFT furniture on it. It's the best deal in Canada for an AR fifteen. Get your AR fifteens while you can, while you still have the right to own one, because. If the Liberals win uh, in 2019, you know that's going into 12-9 right away. 
Yeah, no, you know, I can't agree with you more in terms of that. And the more that, that there's on, there's more advocates for the AR-15 in general. As we know, it's no different than any other gun. It's just a stupid, uh, you know, legislation issue that we've got going on. We're going to be doing more giveaways, guys, with these MK12s moving on. Don't know when, but we've got a ton of giveaways always going on. Always a huge supporter of Odell, as they are of us. So uh, thank you for that, Ian. Hey, no problem. No, great seeing you guys and uh, love being out at these events with you. Always a pleasure. Once again, I've run into my friend Dave from the CCFR, Canadian Coalition for Firearm Rights. Dave, how are we doing today? Very well, sir. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. A little chilly, but... Uh, yeah, it's a little chilly. We're hanging in. So, you guys have been uh, pretty prominent in the media of late. Um, yeah. You guys have been doing some great coverage and uh, raising awareness, uh, especially in light of C-71. So maybe for our viewers, can you explain to them uh, what is C-71? Uh, C-71 is touted as a public safety measure on gun control. Um, that's what we're being told. However, it's nothing of that effect. Uh, basically, um, they are targeting the most law-abiding, heavily vetted demographic in society and doing absolutely nothing to conquer uh, the gang violence, all that kind of stuff. So uh, what they're telling the public is not at all what the bill is, and we're out there trying to tell the public what it really is. Now, one of the things that uh, I got to give you guys credit for in, in raising my awareness was there's an e-petition going on uh, where where Canadians can basically sign up and show that they are not in support of C-71. And I understand that that e-petition has become, I think, the second most signed e-petition ever yep. in Canadian history. Yeah, that's right. We've got uh, close to 80,000 signatures on that right now. Uh, if you want to sign up uh, or sign the petition, it's uh, just Google E-1608. Uh, put your name on there and, you know, let the government know that what they're doing is not the right thing. And there's a couple other field officers here, yep. so maybe we could uh, get them to come on in here. Okay. We've got Gavin and Angela. Say hey. hello to uh, the Code of Arms viewers. Hey guys. Hey guys. Good <laughs> to catch up with you guys again after TACCOM. So. Yeah. yeah. Some of you guys might know Gavin, Ragnarok Tactical, Angela, Baby Goes Pew Pew. Baby Goes Pew Pew. So, uh, what are you guys doing here today? Uh, just coming out, trying to support, you know, fellow gun owners and gun stores because, you know, we're kind of hated on right now. So it's good to get out and support the community and show the love. And I mean, you know, like Dave was saying, definitely get people to know about C-71. And yeah, if you haven't signed that petition yet, get do it. It, it takes a minute, not even. Do it. It's important. Let them know. Now, Angela, I understand uh, you're ramping up your shooting career. <laughs> can, can you tell us a bit about uh, what you got going on this summer? Well, uh, in about two weeks, I've got my first competition with the Canadian Rimfire Precision Series. So that should be fun. We're actually going to go run over to Silverdale after this and get a little bit of practice in. Uh, and then after that, in July, we're heading off to uh, New Brunswick to do the uh, podcaster podcaster charity shoot. Uh, so we're going to be doing a um, handgun course. We have a maple seed course that we're doing. And then there's the actual... Uh, the, the charity shoot, which will be fun. Other than that, I think that's pretty much it right now. But That's all we got on the books right now. Yeah. But, uh, I'm sure we'll figure out some more stuff. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, There'll got... be some Ragnarok tactical things to be doing too as well. Yeah, so. we've, we've got two classes on the books right now, and hopefully you're going to have some more. So, you know, sign up, take some classes, come out, have fun. So much we're, fun. we're far more entertaining in person. Uh, <laughs> Well, guys, thank you for uh, chatting with us here. I know uh, there's lots yeah. of people to co-mingle with and have some hamburgers and hot dogs yeah. and that sort of thing. Angela and Gavin and my friend Dave from CCFR. Thanks again, guys, as well. So, um, guys, I know you may have seen Dave in some of our videos, uh, most notably <laughs> the one that you had the machine gun smile oh, in yeah, Vegas. Yeah, the, the machine gun shoot. That, I mean, we had an amazing time. I mean, thanks for inviting me to that. I was, you know, just a blast shooting with Joe Smo from um, Sons of Guns. And it was just a great time out there. You know, all the all fully autos that we shot was just amazing. You know, it, it really was a good day. Hanging out with Amanda from Just Hunt TV, yep. obviously you guys. Yeah, and Dave thanks me, but I mean, Dave's part of the team. He's part of the family, always has been. Yeah, I mean, these guys brought me on board. I have a good, we have a good laugh, I think, don't we? Always. We go out and we always have a good time. 
So, yep, yeah, uh, more videos to come, right, Corey? Yes, guys, look out for more videos. Dave's gonna be involved. Some more of this fun stuff. I mean, we enjoy getting out to events, but we've got some real fun stuff yeah. planned to look, come. Uh, hopefully, we're blowing stuff up. Yeah, oh, right. obviously. Good, obviously. good, uh, yeah, as long as we're blowing stuff up. <laughs> Check this boy out, NAS. Thanks, guys, thank you. Hey guys, we're here with Peter Lanza, MD Charlton. Uh, Peter, how's the event going today? The event's been awesome. Uh, been a lot of people here. I'm really happy to be out here. Great time. So I understand we've got uh, some new stuff, some stuff that's not so new, but maybe not so familiar to our audience. So uh, maybe you could explain to us, what do we got here from SIG? Sure, just a little teaser for everybody. The brand new 320X5 is out. A couple of the great features of it. It's got a big bowl barrel on it. Cut it on the top for a little bit of weight. Takes an additional weight in the back to help balance the gun a little bit better for everybody. It's got some fantastic new fiber optics sights and it's got a straight trigger on it. This 320 has been an absolute home run. Looks, shoots, and feels fantastic. I understand uh, Scott Little is at the range right now with uh, one of your products from uh, TDSA Canada if you haven't uh, checked them out yet. Uh, what was Scott's kind of uh, impression of the gun getting it out to the range for the first time. Funny, Scott sent me a text message today because he was one of the first guys. We wanted him to go out and really give the gun a good run and see what he can do. He said the only problem that he found is after a thousand rounds, it got a little bit too hot to touch, but it ran flawlessly. We put a thousand rounds through this in 48 minutes. And I, uh, just a little warning, if you guys are going to try to do something like that, after that thousand rounds, don't touch this. I burned my thumb pretty severe on it. Uh, that takedown lever was like on fire. But uh, I'm telling you, the gun was just absolutely flawless. Couldn't say enough about it. Way to go, Scott, and thank you. Yeah, that's a testament to uh, Scott Little. He's definitely uh, a huge advocate of the sport and of SIG products in general. Absolutely. Um, and we've also got some, this is kind of the lesser known one. I got to talk to Peter at TACOM and uh, we touched on the, the air guns a little bit. And what I love about them is, I mean, these are almost a direct replica from your actual real steel firearms. Yep, your, your 320X5 is an upgrade, but the standard 320, the air gun, looks and feels just like the real deal fantastic for practicing and it's under 500 feet per second so it's not registered as a firearm. You can also get the Sig Sauer Air with it and another thing coming out in the upcoming weeks is going to be the Sig Sauer Air targets which are going to be fantastic to shoot at and very safe to use as well. Believe I'm going to get my hands on some of these targets. We've got an air gun segment coming up so be sure to check out that segment. Peter, thank you as always. Awesome. Thanks for having me again. Doug, one of the things I really enjoy about the customer appreciation days like the one we have here at NAS is uh, you get to walk around and uh, take whatever you want off the shelf, take a look at it, and it's no different than this Canuck Evolve here brought in from Odell Engineering. Uh, what do you think of this gun? Well, it's the first time I'm getting my hands on it. It's actually a pretty cool model. It's a uh, shotgun uh, revolver, uh, 410 three inch. Uh, it's got a 26 inch barrel which is chrome lines. Um, it actually, they're selling these here, they're taking pre-orders, 150 bucks uh, down, uh, total retail is 650 and they're going to be here uh, later in June. Uh, one thing I did learn uh, from talking to the guys at the counter is you cannot shoot 45 long colt out of this. But uh, you, you, know, you get two cylinders with it, one being the five shot for if you want to use it wherever you want and it also comes with a three shot cylinder so if you want to take it hunting uh, you can use it for that as well. So actually it's it's a really cool shotgun, uh, kind of a neat addition to the Canadian firearms market. And holding it here, I mean it's, it's quite light so if you're going to be out in the field hunting with it, I mean I don't think there's a better gun to do it with uh, if you're looking for a 410 and it looks like it's got some adjustable sights as well. Yeah. yeah. Guys uh, check these out, uh, NAS has them and they're being brought in by Odell Engineering. We've run into Dave from Grand Power. Dave, your hair is looking awesome today. Yours too, I guess. Yeah, 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 I had to cut it. You guys made fun of me. You made fun of me. So uh, what are we doing here today? What are we showing off? Uh, I brought out a few uh, guns that they didn't have in the counter, including our new Q1S. So this is our subcompact striker fired pistol. It comes with, unfortunately, the uh, Canadian spec 106 mil barrel. But with our subcompact, it's got the finger groove magazine base plate. 
So I've got a fairly large hand, but I still get three full fingers of contact on it. And of course, we always have the Excalibur. Well, we like this one. <laughs> also new, we've got the K22 TS. Most people that have played with the Grand Power 22 are used to the K22S. The TS gets rid of the front sight off of a sight bridge and moves it to the barrel. You also get a six inch barrel. Uh, later this summer, I'll also have an eight inch barrel for the guys that want something a little bit longer. It uses the wide gas pedal safeties that we have on our XCAL as well as the XCAL hammer group, adjustable sights, same interchangeable back straps. What do you think of the event here today at NAS? I always love the customer appreciation days and NAS has got a fantastic new location. I love it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty slick. Uh, it's a nice addition to the Niagara market as well. So. Very much so. so and uh, we, we're glad to see that uh, they're now carrying the uh, Grand Power line. Well, Dave, thank you for chatting with us once again, and we'll hope to see you again soon. You bet. Got Chris from Gong Show Steel. Chris, oh, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what do you got for uh, us here? Uh, we're just showing our appreciation and our support for C71 here. Uh, I put it on a 10-inch gong. All, uh, all of Gong Show's gongs are 3 8 inch AR500 steel. Uh, link them up with some rubber strapping. I, I really don't use chain very much. Uh, it's a lot safer, I find, and I think it's a lot more durable. Uh, I'm not the only person using this rubber, but I'm one of the only persons. So uh, this, is a, this is what we got. Uh, different shapes, different sizes, four different sizes of uh, circle, four different sizes of square, three different sizes of silhouette. Very cool, very cool. Now, AR500, where is this sourced and where is this produced? Uh, produced out of Canada. For the most part, our plates are usually always out of Canada as well. Every once in a while, we have to source out of the States, but it is always cut in Canada. It's cut out of Brampton, Ontario. Fantastic, fantastic. And uh, if we were to want to get our hands on some of your steel plates, where would we go to find them? Right now, uh, I've got a couple locations on Facebook. It's going to be under Gong Show Steel. Uh, Twitter is at AR500, and Instagram, if you look up Gong Show Steel, you can find it there as well. That's fantastic. I think we might need to uh, get some of these out on the range and shoot them up. Absolutely. Would you be up for that? 100%, yeah. And I'll, leave, I'll even bring some of these along. We can, uh, we can show our support for 71 by putting some holes in it. All right, guys, here, Chris, Gong Show Steel. You're watching Coat of Arms. It goes on and on. Who do we got here, Steve? Steve from NAS, by the way, for those of you who don't know. How's everybody going today? It's been a great day, by the way. Um, but uh, we've got Mr. Cole here that uh, we sponsored. This guy, we nicknamed him Cole Trickle uh, because he's number one last year and he's going to be number one this year, we hope. No pressure. No, pre no pressure. I guess we'll bring Cole in here and he'll uh, explain to you what the whole year is going to be about. Right, um, well, this year I was happy to have uh, NAS come on board and help us out throughout the year. Um, this season we're hoping to go back to back champion and try to get the championship at uh, Merrittville. Um, we just go out, have fun, turn some laps, support the sponsors. Like today, we're here for Customer Appreciation Day. Um, yeah, tonight we race at seven o'clock and we're gonna try to win. Getting dirty with Cole Trickle, Merrittville, NAS. Check them out. Wrapping up here at the NAS Customer Appreciation Day. Some great vendors here, a lot of cool people. Great to network with uh, gun owners in the Niagara region. I was supposed to hook up with owner Steve uh, to say goodbye, but somebody told me he's not here, but other, somebody else said he's in the bathroom, so let's check. Steve! What's going on, everybody? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm taking my poop. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching Coat of Arms. Hey, shut the door, will you? <laughs> <laughs> and so you don't miss out like us on facebook follow us on instagram and subscribe to us on youtube.com this is code of arms <laughs>